What's up, YouTube? What's up, world? It's your boy, Maki Mock, back with another video. It's been a while. I've been busy doing a couple of things. I'll, in another video, I'll explain a little bit of that. But one of the things I've been doing is growing my solar output. I basically started out with a 320 watt um, solar panel. Now I've bumped it up to 520 watts, and I'm about to add another 200 on top of that within the next week. So I'm gonna try to see if I could do this video here in one straight shot. So, um, as if you live in the Virgin Islands over the past few weeks, you may have noticed that we went through several power outages. Um, I think Thursday, Friday, and even down into Saturday, we were experiencing um, power outages every two hours, whatever issue they had with generation at the facility on St. Thomas, um, they basically had to shut the current. So every two hours, the current was going off for two hours, coming back on for the next two hours, going back off for the next two hours. That wasn't fun at all. <clears throat> My little solar system that I had before had just actually went out like two weeks before, and I decided to upgrade and get another one. And this one is much better. And so that's what I'm be showcasing today. All right. Okay, so without any further ado, here we go, guys. I have turned my little grill area here into my little um, power supply. This is my temporary setup that I have for right now. So, um, what happens is this is a 3000 watt um, off grid system that I have here. The old one is actually inside. It was also 3000 watts. And I don't even know why it went out. But those are my solar panels out there. And they come in here. This is the wire where they come in here. I'll even take this off to show you where they hook up inside. Okay, this is the solar input coming in right here. Um, this system, of course, as I mentioned, is totally off grid. Um, but you could still hook it up to power or generator power as well. Here's why I have the power coming in from Wapa. And here's the power going out into my house. Right now, I'm running only my TV entertainment unit, inter um, internet. Uh, and a couple of things in my bedroom, like my computer and so forth. So the minor electronic devices and else. Yesterday, I was getting so much power, I was using it to power my fridge also for half of the day. Um, but yeah, continuing on. So this power input, the system right now, I was using it last night. I usually use it during the night. I usually use it right now from six in the night to six in the morning. When morning time comes, it switches over. Once the sun comes back up, to start charging from the solar panel. So as you can see by this picture right here, it's getting power from the solar panel, it's going in, um, being converted and then charging up the battery right now. So it's charging up the battery. Um, right now it's on WAPA power. This is showing you it's on AC power. That's the voltage coming in, which is very low. I've never seen it hit 120 yet. And when I do switch it over, to work off of battery power, um, it is actually producing 120 volts constant instead of this fluctuating voltage we have coming in from one. Um, this is what they call a pure sine wave inverter. Um, they have some inverters which are not pure sine wave. You can tell like when you have it connected to a fan, you hear the fan like slow down like a strain to produce power um, and so forth. And you're going through the menu and so forth. Oh, yeah, so what happens is the power is coming in from the solar panels. And <clears throat> right now it's 55 volts coming in on the solar panels. Only one amp of current, 26 watts is being produced by the solar panels because you can see it's cloudy right now this morning. But it can go up, as I mentioned, as high as 500 and change watts. Yesterday I saw it, the highest at three something, 350 watts yesterday when I was home. I was on home the whole day. So, um, yeah, so this charges the batteries in here. I have 
um, four batteries currently connected to it. These are what they call um, marine batteries, deep. Well, these two are AGM batteries. These are gel batteries, gel batteries. And these two over here are um, deep cycle batteries, marine batteries. Um, together, they produce a total of about four, 4,800 um, watts, amp hours, sorry, 4,800 amp hours. That's enough once again to power this whole thing. If I'm using 100 watts to like, oh, 200, average 200 watts, I can power <coughs> everything for at least 12 hours. Okay, as I said, that's my setup down there. I have them in series because this system, right, sorry, I have the batteries each two batteries are tied in parallel um there are 12 volt batteries and they come up to 24 volts 24 volts is what powers this particular um system that i have here and then it converts the 24 volts into 120 volt um 120 volts output which powers everything in my house and so forth whenever the power goes okay so what I wanted to mention to everyone, everyone watching the channel and so forth, if you live on St. Thomas, I'm gonna start making these systems available. Um, beginning at $900, um, what $900 gets you is a, a similar solar system, which would um, produce up to, oh, mines produces 3000 watts continuous, which is more than enough to run everything in my house, including my stove. Um, and, the, the refrigerator, anything in my, in my house or apartment, I should say. Um, and what I'm looking to do is just provide one that provides 600 watts continuous and 1500 watts peak. That's where if you turn on something, you know, usually when you turn on something, there's a power draw in the beginning, then it goes down. Um, so basically what I'm saying is like from my parents when they were living down here, um, what I've been able to do is set up a system like that for them with one solar panel producing 100 watts to save enough to charge up the system that I'm selling. Um, the system also charges by WAPA, so like when WAPA power comes back, it'll charge up the battery. But while WAPA is not, if WAPA is down, let's say you have a hurricane or whatever. Um, whoever you buy it for, if you buy it for yourself, you'll be able to power the little devices in your house, be able to charge up your phone, watch TV, be on the internet, everything as well, um, as usual. If necessary, yeah, put it on a small fridge, which doesn't draw more than 200, 100 or 200 watts. Um, and so forth and they'll be able to still live comfortably during the day you put out a panel it charges the battery that's that that's in the unit and so forth um if you want for a hundred dollars more too uh, i could provide you so a total of a thousand dollars i could provide you with an additional battery which hooks up to the system which actually provides twice the power well actually it goes exponentially so i could actually say three times the power if you hook up just an additional battery for so for a total of a thousand dollars you get a really good backup system um the small system i'm going to show it on the screen here that i'll be setting up and how is the setup is going to be when you add the extra battery of course the battery is just basically storage this is in as you would plug in any device in your house um, that would charge the batteries when you don't have solar like during the night if you need to charge up the battery on the system it'll charge up the batteries and no if power goes off it automatically the cool thing is it automatically switches over and starts using the power from the battery to power the devices in your house providing up to six to twelve hours as well depending how much load it has on there of course um, but as I said, if you're using it just to watch your TV and different things like that, you, you won't have to worry at all. You would have power. The, the average power outages from WAPA do range from like one to eight hours. And this is something that I believe like every, every Virgin Islander must get um, for their house. So I, as I said, for $900, I'll come hook up the system at your house and um, the supplies are limited. Let me say that first. Once again, this is all depending on your drain. And I'll let you know depending on the things you're planning to put on the um, 
I'll let you know depending on the, the, the items, the load you're planning to put on the system, like how many batteries you would need or if you would need any extra batteries at all. All right. So anyhow, that's the end of my spiel. Um, I'll see if I can find an, an additional clip where I was using it during the night where it was in action. Um, I could, I'll actually show you right here what would happen. Now this is Whopper right here, right? Coming in. I'm going to reach my hand here and show you on the system what will happen when I unplug it. So if Whopper goes, this is what will happen. See the telephone pole up there which is currently powered? So this will be an example of if Whopper goes. Boom. See what happened there? It makes a beeping noise and it's switched over automatically to getting charged by the solar power. It's charging the batteries and it's still providing power to the system right now. So it's showing you my battery voltage currently is at 23.6. Um, the output is a steady 120 volts. This is what's happening right now. Power is going off um, to my inside the house now. Going through here, going inside my house, as I just unplugged water. And I'm now on Blyper, <laughs> Blyper power, authority. And then, that's my panel voltage coming in, 56 volts. Um, no amps are being produced right now because we have extreme shade. It's, it's lower than one, one amp, so that's why it's showing zero. Um, the total wattage to the panel is 26. Um, the battery voltage is right there. The output, once again, is right there. Frequency is right there. Load, that's the load on my system right now. In the house, is 2%. That's nothing. This thing the high up, um, handle wind would end up. Um, as a load in wattage right now, it's kind of fluctuating. Um, battery draw is one amp and so forth. So um, that's me just giving you a little understanding of what's happening. So as you can see by the screen, it's pretty explainable. The solar panel coming in, going to the system, um, it's gonna charge it, it's charging the batteries and also providing power to the inverter to provide 120 volts out. So that's my little setup that I have here. I wanted to show you guys and I'll be selling um, something similar um, by a notable company. <laughs> um, the one that I use is from a notable company also. A lot of people are using these, um, buying these and setting this up. This setup is more of a professional setup, okay? You need to get somebody who really, really, really know what they're doing um, to set this one up. Cause this is a totally off-grid one. Well, the other one is totally off-grid too, but it's lower wattage um, system that they have, okay? So just giving you guys my little review of my system and you can have one too for $900. So just let me know. A link will be in the description below of how to contact me and get your setup. All right. So as I like to say, VI to the world, there'll be more power to the world too. When we get these set up in every house in the VI, you have a little solar backup system going, everything running. All right. Deuces. See you guys on the next one.